Hello everybody, welcome to our morning prayer readings for, for today. Our readings today are a little bit of a, a mixture across the, the, New, the New Testament. We're going to have Luke 24 verses 44 to the end, Acts chapter 1 verses 15 to the end, and 1 John chapter 2 verses 7 to 17. And as usual, you can pause the recording at this point, or you can read uh, from your own Bible. You can get the details from our parish uh, website and the online Church of England or Daily Prayer app. So lots of different ways of, of reading these passages. I remember on one occasion talking to a young person in a school I was working in and he told me that he was a big fan of Manchester United. Well, as some of you know, I am a big fan of Manchester United as well. And I asked him who his favourite player was. And this wasn't long after United had won the treble and uh, everybody knew all of the players. But actually, it didn't take me long to realise that this little lad in particular was bluffing that he didn't actually know the name of any of the players. He claimed to be a fan and he claimed to be a follower, but it wasn't long before I realised that he was nothing of the sort. No harm done. Um, he was a good lad and uh, we had a bit of a laugh over it. How do we know that we are Christians? And how do other people know that we are Christians? Which is perhaps the, 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 the equally important answer question. What is the defining mark of being a follower of Jesus? Is it knowing all about the Bible, important as it is? Is it about going to church, as important as that is? Is it spending time with other Christians and praying, important as that is? All of these things are important. But in the First John passage that we read today, I think it's made clear that the litmus test for being a true follower of Jesus is the way in God's spirit working in us, it pours into our lives every day and that helps us and that encourages us and that pushes us forward to love one another. We have been forgiven in Christ and though therefore in Christ we must forgive others. We have been loved by Jesus and so therefore we must love others as Jesus loved us. And so at this period in the church's year, where we remember Ascension Day, we remember how much Jesus was taken up to heaven and the Spirit of God came upon the church at Pentecost. And it's that Spirit, that same Holy Spirit that came upon the disciples on that first day, that first Pentecost, that lives in us and helps us to love one another as we serve Jesus in the world. We're not always, let's be honest, the easiest people to love. I'm certainly not. But by the Spirit of God, we learn how to love and how to be loved, both by our fellow Christians and by God himself. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the Spirit of God, which helps us to love one another. And so may people know that we are your followers. We are your people by the way we love other people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much and hope to speak to you very soon.